Okay, um, hi everyone. Um, my name is William, and I'm going to be talk talking about putting measurement converters on the web. So why did I make the converters? Um, some reasons are that a designer asked me about what pixels to, to M's um, was, how to convert from pixels to M's, and I wasn't sure, and I'm a web developer, so I thought it, it would be good, good to find out how to convert pixels to M's. Um, and it's more reliable to build your own converters. Um, for example, kilometers are not yards, and that's a website, that's a real website. Uh, well, it's, it just came up when I searched. Um, one of the first things I did um, was to go on Google to find out how to convert pixels to M's. Um, here's one example of a website I found. Um, I wasn't sure what a base pixel size was, uh, so that didn't help me. Um, here's another example. I wasn't sure what a default pixel size was, so this also didn't help me. Um, there were lots of tables as well, and complicated converters. Um, in the end, I made this. Um, I thought it might be helpful for learning, and I wanted to practice front-end development. Something I wanted to do was um, to make the input boxes accept only numbers. But E appeared. Um, I, was, I was testing the, the numbers type, and yeah, that happened. Um, so apparently, these characters are numbers. Um, the solution was to make the input type equal text. Um, but I thought that my converter didn't look um, so nice, so I added new features. Um, I also realized that the font size in M's for the child element is relative to the font size of, in pixels of the parent element. And this is, this is how you convert from pixels to M's, I think. Um, I made this just to check. All the text, are, they're all 2 EMs. Um, here's a new user interface. Um, there are SVG buttons, animations, and I use Flexbox. Um, one of the most interesting things that I used was SVG clip, clip path, um, the clip path property. Um, I use Clippy to help with these, to, to get clip paths. Um, there are still many improvements that I want to make to the website. And here's the browser compatibility. You can look at the code, and you can view the site. It's online. And that's, that's the end. Oh, OK. <laughs> Oh. Do, do you know why E and E are numbers? I think, I think it's to the power of. Yeah. yeah. I think that's why it's like that. And the other thing, like, why convert pixels into M's? Um, I'm not sure, but I was, I was just. It seems to be a problem that so many people have with so many converters being around. Obviously. <laughs> Which is strange. Like, it's strange. It's like the E and the power. Like for me, like okay, when I do websites, the hardest problem that I have is usually um, when to use M's and when to use pixels. I mean, usually for font, it's rather straightforward. Yeah, font yeah that's M's, right. But like sometimes I find myself using using margins and M's and paddings and M's too. If I feel like that the amount of space around text, for example, should be relevant to the text size that's being said. So, so you use pixels and M, uh, pixels sometimes and M sometimes. Yeah. So. Like, and I, like, that's always the hardest question for me is when to use what. I so think for me, my answer is for everything, use M for friends. 
but for this, those small little things where you have to use pixels, you use pixels. Like for example, one or two pixel borders, you use pixels because you can't afford to have some pixels. It's not. When you use RAM or M, you can go into some pixels. I'm not connected to it. Right. And the good thing about RAMs and M is that it's and it's actually actually like sub pixels. That, 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 can you actually set anything in sub pixels? Is that a minute CSS? You can do point something in a pixel, technically. In when uh, old days of CSS, things like pixels were absolute on the screen. Yeah. Uh, around i7, they changed it so pixels are virtual pixels. Yeah. So when you, because in the old, like, you used to increase your yeah. text size and nothing else would change. So if you've got an image that's 50 pixels wide, it would stay 50 wide even as the text increases. So they changed that so pixels are now virtual. Um, and they've also calculated that to be some pixels. Um, I saw a thing that Quaking tweeted today actually showing how they calculate stuff um, in browsers. Um, they all basically have a sub uh, pixel measurement as their base. Yeah. Uh, Gecko uses um, 60 units as the so one pixel is 60 units. Uh, Chrome, I think, used something else, like 65 or something weird. Um, Microsoft used 100. But they all basically have a base measure. So subpixels are achievable and they do actually need something. So is another question that always comes to me, why not points? Like, I remember back in the days, everything was points. And it was like, you measure font in points, not in pixels. And like, now it's all M's. Yeah, we're, we're kind of gone because M's went around originally. Yeah. And it ends with typographic measure just like points is. And it's relevant in certain circumstances. But everything went M. Now everything's kind of going back towards pixels to an extent. So the question was more what's the point of using M if pixels are variable now? Um, and certainly before, like when you've got something that's relevant, so if you've got a button and the padding around it is going to be in relation to the type size, then M's are exactly what you need to have. If you're measuring um, like the layout of something on the screen, then the pixels are probably what you want. How about RAM? When do we want RAM? RAM is nice. Uh, if you really want, because RAM is root, root M, basically. Uh, so if you root the slider to 16, then it's exactly 16. Uh, I use it and I can't remember why. <laughs> it's, it's usually if you can't figure out why the hell 1M is not the fault of the class anymore, then you use RAM. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One thing, one it's, thing like, it's very useful for is if you've got a base root element. Uh, if you want that to vary based on the root uh, font size, which is something you probably want, then switching it to RAM could be useful. But since pixels are variable now, it's not so important anymore. Um, do you use RAM? I had an article on like, why do you use RAM and when do you use M, so that might help. But you don't even need M much anymore, so why do you need RAM? My friend, my friend is I think M is, is useful for visualizing all your measurements in terms of a ratio to a single base size. So it, it, it helps you to think of, think of one measurement as, you know, this is twice the usual measurement. Rather than thinking in terms of, let's say this is 32 pixels, but 32 pixels doesn't tell you whether it's twice or one and a half times or one times the usual uh, default yeah. size. I think it's actually a rare use case for M's in that sense, because when do you really want to have, let's say you think of a website as a bunch of different components, when you really want to have um, like one component inherit the font size from the base component, mm -hmm. right? Because it, it would be a use case where you feel like if the base size is 16 pixels, then this component now needs to be two times that in terms of standard font. But when is that not typically the case? So actually, I think RAM should be more useful than M most of the time. I don't know if that's any clear. But well, an example of a button. If you've got a button, then the padding inside the button is relevant to the font size, relative to the font size. Yeah. And if that's the case, you can compare the base button styles once. And then if I've got a big button over here, I just have the font size and the rest of the text area. So, um, so in that case, using M's is really relevant, and RAM is not so. But if you want all your buttons to be the same size, 
there and you're, you're somewhere in some piece of text that has been scaled for some reason. But you want to get back to the default sort of thing. Yeah, so that's, and that's the exactly where I use it, you know, now that you mentioned that. It's when you want that reference back to the base of the snowball field server. Still hard to think about why, but it, it does come up. Uh, it's good to know that pixels. they exist. Wow. So, you could just use pixels. Well, that's the thing. But, yeah. the, the, I recommend multiple miles. <laughs> Yeah, into fractions or something. 